All right, everybody. Jason Sloan here with Furtado Law Solutions coming to you live. We have a new addition, Jose Ornelas. Want to say it? Hello, I'm Jose Ornelas. <laughs> All right, and he's he works with us out of our Mexico City branch. And we have the guest of honor, Devin Hayes. Hello. So, Hello, Devin. And you're with, what's your I'm company? With Ele- yeah. Elevation marketing. We're really good at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, that's, it's it, you don't do a lot of these shows. You you leave that to Randy and Nick, and you know your yeah, husband's but... running the other parts of those businesses. So <laughs> that's true. They're they're all pros. They're 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 good at it. So you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's okay. You'll get used to it. They oh, yeah. tell me they don't like me on TV, but I like I I gotta be here regardless. So that's just how it is. So, <laughs> so tell us uh, about your background growing up and business and personal and how you juggle all this. All the fun stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm juggling it. I don't know if I'm doing it well, but I am juggling it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So born and raised in Colorado, and then. Um, Took off at 18, went to the Navy, uh, worked as an IT on the uh, good old USS Frank Cable, and um, then got out, went to college, and kind of fell into the construction industry, first kind of on the finance side of things, and then slowly just kind of transitioned into business development and then marketing, and then um, kind of started my own agency i guess uh in 2014 full time so um yeah that was that's a that's my 2 minute this is my life pitch i guess but um <laughs> yeah well that's... when did you meet cody and all that oh my god so i guess that's the career side yeah the the romance side the fun side so i met cody um it had to be 2011 i think and um he was actually just starting in roofing he had just partnered with randy at elite roofing and um we met and then i think like two months later they went storm chasing to kansas city and so we were forced to like you know get to know get to know each other over the phone kind of nice and slow and then um eventually he made his way back here denver got smashed and then he, he did only have to storm, I think, one other time. He went to New Mexico, which wasn't so bad. And then, yeah, we got married in 2013, and we got two adorable little boys, five and a half and almost two. And, um, yeah, so that's it. That's the family side. That's how mm-hmm. I kind of – Cody and Randy are how I got, like, down the roofing and kind of home services niche when it comes to marketing um, just because – of course, I'm passionate about helping my husband's business grow. So along the way, um, it just, yeah, our agency kind of, we started being able to help one roofer after another just because we kind of came up with a formula and had, um, you know, t- and got to learn a lot through Elite Roofing where they trusted us enough to just say, do whatever you need and and not really micromanage us, which was which is great because they know we most definitely have their best interest at heart. So um, yeah, that's kind of how I fell into the, the roofing, roofing niche and then um, kind of expanded that into home services with, you know, electricians and pest control, HVAC, kind of kind of all the fun home services areas on top of all of our clients outside of that niche. So um, mm-hmm. it's been fun to kind of have our agency grow. I partnered with, um, gosh, the best, the best, one of the best humans you could ever know. Her name's Amanda Joyce, and she is my business partner. We merged our our agencies um, about three years ago. And um, she's just a brilliant mastermind and walking human gold. She's just a great person. So uh, mm-hmm. we've been doing this thing together. Our skill sets complemented each other. And um, and so, yeah, we've just been growing and, and kind of loving what we do and um, trying to help people all along the way because we just, you know, we're, we're a small agency, but that's intentional. We don't ever want to be the biggest. We do want to be the best, but we don't, we're not trying to be like the scorpions of the world who are mm-hmm. just huge and you get sold by a sales guy and then you get, you, you don't know what that sales guy promised and you get passed off to an account manager who kind of sets your account up and then forgets you. And that's mm-hmm. not us. So yeah, that's, that's no bueno. So <laughs> oh, amazing. So, so you, f- you, you found your Randy. Yes. Yes. Ex- <laughs> exactly. Well, when you said like- you complement each other. I'm thinking about, you know, because I've known Randy for a long time and I've known Cody, but 
Randy's always the one who's talking, kind of like me. Me and Kyle, <laughs> we've known each other for, you know, we work together and we work together again. But it's, he's, I'm more of the go getter and, you know, and he's always calm down, you know, and I, I know Cody's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's so funny is amanda and i are actually really similar we both like put our heads down into our work and neither one of us focuses on like the actual business side so like you'll never get like marketing emails from us or, <laughs> or like any, we don't do it we just put our heads down and kind of grind for our clients so this year we're actually trying to like do more of that complimentary like focus on our business and also our clients and kind of um, do a little more of the marketing that we preach for everybody else, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. But so, you know yeah, so... <laughs> if you're there's there there's there's two sides to that story. If you're making good money and all, you know, you're able to do your vacations and all that stuff. When you get too big, then all of a sudden, sometimes you're babysitting more than you're doing, and you're not enjoying it. You know, yeah. before. I was doing a handful of roofs. I was making six figures and I was working three months out of the year. Life was great. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> I want to go like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day, one day, Patty Juan, one day. That's one day, you're, one you're day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. So you talked a little about that. What do you, so you talked about your kids. Is there any, what do you guys like to do for fun when you're not working? Uh, we love to go camping. Okay um snowboarding and let's see our both kids are kind of starting to get into it Cameron we've gotten him on the board and he he's almost two so he pretty much just we pull him but mm -hmm. um yeah we like to go snowboarding and and camping um Cody and I have gotten like so into the peloton which is embarrassing we're both like super competitive on there <laughs> which I don't know if that's really a hobby but um I guess it's kind of what what we're into right now um so, yeah, just kind of outdoorsy stuff, I think, and travel, lots of travel, you know. Sounds good. Sounds good. And, well, let's talk about business. How can I avoid the dumb task, as they say, when it comes to hire, hiring an agency? Yes, the dumb tax. So um, nobody wants to spend their hard-earned money kind of um, failing with an agency. So what we've seen a lot of is um, basically, uh, roofing companies go in, they hire an agency, you get like a website for a really low price, like maybe like $1,400. Um, and they turn it around super quick and, and it looks great. Well, the, the challenge with that is that, um, when you go to leave, you actually don't own the content that's on the website. So you don't own any of the, of the copy, the thing that's been, um, hopefully helping you move the dial with your search engine optimization or S SEO is, uh, I, I hope everyone's maybe heard of it by now, but um, so the problem okay. is, is you get this website up, you get it fast, but then you don't own it when you're ready to leave. So I, I think the biggest thing is with any agency that you're going to go with um, on the small front, if you're just buying a website, like you, you want to buy a whole website, you want to own your digital assets. You don't want it. You don't want to rent a website. You don't want to have to turn it all over when you're done and ready to like build your own website. Um, even if you go to Wix and build a site for like $250 to get their logo taken off of it, that is going to be better for you in the long run than spending all of these, like even if it's just 12 months, that's 12 months of like your SEO that's now gone and wasted, which is a slow crawl anyway as a um, marketing tactic. So you wanna make sure, I, I think the biggest thing we preach is like own your digital assets, like own your website um, mm -hmm. while it's, a great band-aid in the moment when you need a website quick and a storm hit and maybe you're starting up your own thing. Ultimately, just just do it yourself on Wix, even if it's a one pager. Um, and the other side of that that we keep seeing is uh, like on, I mentioned this agency, I mentioned them Scorpion because they we've seen so many roofers just get burned by this agency and they build them like a $20,000 website and then they don't own the content, but also they, it's like sold as, oh, this proprietary system and it's really easy for you to edit. But at the end of the day, like you don't own it because they own that software. So you, no one else can edit. No other webmaster can get in there. You know, you, you can't, that doesn't transfer over to you. So you, sure, just you have, can, you cannot do it by yourself, right? Yeah. Uh, it's better it's if just, you own it. Exactly. So it's just kind of a big, a big waste of money. So anyway, avoid the dump when you're hiring an agency, it's a, it's a, <laughs> For a website specifically or 
anything an agency does for you, I think the most important thing is that you own every piece of it, like the Google Analytics account, your Google AdWords account. If you're spending ads somewhere, but then you leave them and you don't have that historical data, you're, you just wasted money testing certain ads and certain mm -hmm. campaigns. And then you don't know um, what worked or didn't work really well um, when it's time to, I don't know, spend more and do ads again. So And, and start off with buying your domain. <laughs> buying yeah. your domain. Because yeah, some please. of these companies, they'll do all of that for you, make it so easy. And then, like you said, oh, well, and you don't even own that. You know, it's like, oh, I need to think of a new, you know, name for the website. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's a, that's a, I've, I haven't seen that recently. I did, like, when I first started out on my own, I saw a lot of people that didn't own their domains because they, there were a lot of companies selling that domain, like, denverroofingcontractors.com mm -hmm. can be yours for $10,000 kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully with shows like this, that, that message has gotten hammered home. Um, but definitely any digital asset, you want to make sure you own it. Well, I mean, if you're big enough and you want to buy those because you want write-offs or whatever but own it get it transferred to you instead of basically you're, you're paying a rental fee you know yeah if you're spending that much you should it should come to you and you should keep a hold of it and then when you retire or whatever that's when you can resell it because you've built it up yeah well and with that you always want to check um because if you're buying it so you want to see how many times that domain has changed hands what kind of sites they were before even if it, you would assume it would be a roofing contractor site with like the example we just gave, but mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure that if you're going to use that to say redirect to your company's website, because you think, you know, it makes sense. And that is a tactic with SEO, but if it's traded hands frequently, that sends up like a, a red flag to crawlers. Um, and so your trust score actually goes down. So your um, search engine results, you know, where you're placed, your rank could move down with that. So buying domains is it can be a really good tactic but just do your research on that domain look at the history of it before you point it to your um your website okay okay so it's better if it's completely new than being just like a lot of times it not depends. always <laughs> yeah because because an aged domain can be like seo gold it can be if it's aged and it has a high trust score and it, it kind of checks all these other boxes that we look at when we're taking okay. you know that route but because a brand new domain has less of a trust score because google they don't know what you're what you've done with it you know they don't have all these users that have a good experience or um high or low bounce rate or they don't know about you as a company because so so if you buy a brand new domain don't buy it for two years buy it for the max that it will let you five years ten years whatever it is that would be step one and i would also buy it through google domains versus godaddy or any of the other domain providers because Google loves itself. Um, it is the best narcissist out there. It will check <laughs> its own products as a reference before it looks externally. So a new domain can be good. Just buy it for a long period of time and um, buy it through Google domains. Mm -hmm. okay. So, all right, next question we got. <laughs> if I am a small contractor um, with a conservative marketing budget, where should I start? So, um, this question, it's, it, it does have a direct answer. So if you're first, if you, if you need the phone to ring right now, the answer is to go through paid media, um, and specifically Google local service ads. I know we talked about this at the growth mastermind, but, um, the Google, Google local service ads, number, number one, like the real estate on that search engine page, they're the, they're the very first thing on there, whether it's mm -hmm. mobile or desktop. Right. And then um, people see that like Google guaranteed like trust sign with it. So that's great for your brand. But more or less like those those leads, depending on your market, they're guaranteed phone calls. They're not just someone like clicking on your ad on the search engine results page, which could maybe convert. It's an actual phone call um, that's maybe 40 to 60 dollars, depending on, again, your market and um and then if it's not a lead, like if it's a crew calling looking for work, you can dispute that and you get that $40 refunded to your account or whatever, you know, your cost per call mm -hmm. is with um, GLSA. So um, if you need the phone to ring right now, 
And I know a lot of contractors do. It's slow season almost everywhere, um, no matter where you're at. Um, GLSA, you have to get vetted out. So start the process now if you haven't already. That's the biggest thing. And then if you're like, okay, we've got that covered now. And we that's short-term strategy, long-term strategy. Like I have, I finally have, you know, a little bit of budget for that. Where should we, where should we start? Um, and I, you know, I always say SEO just because it is, it is a long-term strategy. You know, you're not going to get those leads immediately, but it's great for your branding because you're, you should be building content. That's how you kind of move the dial with SEO. You should always have that fresh content. So you're building trust. You're helping the users experience and their journey with you. If, if every time they're typing up a question about roofing and your website keeps coming up um, with the answer in a different blog or a service page or whatever it might be, they just see your name over and over. And that helps with the, you know, the brand recognition and what is it they, someone needs to see you like eight times before they like remember mm -hmm. kind of deal. So, um, you know, that's, that's always where I would start. Um, if you have a small, smaller budget, and even, even if you can't afford, let's say like a retainer with an agency on SEO, um, do your Google, your actual Google profile, post on that bad boy daily, if you can, you know, that's, um, if you can pay someone to do that for you and that fits within your budget, great. But if you're at the, the lower end of whatever that budget looks like, do yourself a favor and post there every single day. And what Lucky. about what about reviews? Those are free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. So you're you're absolutely right. Like asking for reviews um, via email, you know, when you know you have a happy customer, hopefully that's kind of in your your workflow that after a project's finished, you know, you have that automated email that goes out with specific links that, you know, points them where to um, mm -hmm. leave a review, preferably on, on Google over Yelp or even Facebook. But um, mm -hmm. on top of acquiring reviews, um, how you respond to reviews, always make sure to reply to them. And mm -hmm. even if they're super old, go back through and reply to them and say, you know, use kind of those keywords in your reply, say, uh, you know, we know there's a lot of roofers in Denver. Thank you for trusting Elite Roofing with your roof replacement. So you kind of sprinkled in some of those keywords in your responses, oh. um, and that and that works with any industry, whatever whatever business you're in. Just sprink sprinkling in those like core keywords in your responses in your location if it fits. Like um, if you if you can sound natural <laughs> in the response, <laughs> um, you know those are some great like best practices. And oh, if somebody see. leaves a bad review, don't leave it alone, but don't be confrontational, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Always, always respond to them. Um, even, you know, nobody's perfect. And as long as you show you care in your response and show that, you know, you you want to make it right or you've tried to make it right, um, I think that's what most of us as consumers want to see. Like you can't, it, especially in home services, it's construction. Like mm -hmm. there's going to be, a, I don't know, a weather delay, a materials delay, a change in pricing now, the way we've seen the supply chain kind of get messed with here. Um, and, and some people are understanding of that and maybe some aren't. So I'm sure there's some reviews out there with some upset people. But I think all of us as consumers, we just want to know the company we work with cares <laughs> that you're not going to, you know write us off and stop answering the phone as soon as you know something goes south or if something goes south yeah True. we had we had a client that um they had a paired garage and in the back and it was a lean-to so we're used to in the industry just using headwall and flipping it over well the problem was they had stucco and it was like this so he's like this metal does it and i so i go look and i said i'm gonna replace it i'll do some custom metal but it's not I go, this is what you have on here. They just had a piece of drip edge. And I go, what we have is superior, but I'll I'll get it fixed. I'll deal with your insurance to get so I get the extra money, right? But I showed him on the front of his garage. I go, look at your gutter. It's doing the exact same thing. But because it's formed, it has that extra bend, you don't see it. And he was like, oh. So we replaced it. And then I called him for payment. It didn't get replaced. Sent him my company cam links. Here it is. Here's the work that got done. And then he put a review because of the fact that he supposedly sent a check that he had to cancel because it didn't come to our office. Well, you know, making excuses. I'm like, you're 10 minutes from my office. I told you it's plenty of times I will come and pick it up. I picked it up from your neighbor. No problem. You know, 
you're, you know, I go. He put that in the review. He put something about like that the check got lost, and so he had to cancel the check. But he said like he sent the check and it got lost. And it's like, well, dude, you just said you sent it in the mail. Everybody's had that happen before. Why do you think online payments and everything else is the the way everything's going these days? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, we dealt with it, but it's funny. He put it on the BBB, but he didn't give us like, it wasn't something we had to deal with other than saying it wasn't, it was just a review. It wasn't a complaint. Huh. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, it was. It, yeah. Yeah. You know, so did you reply to the review? Yeah. Yeah, we okay. did. Yeah. We just <laughs> said, Hey, we had all the dates cause we had job numbers and CRM. We're like, on this date, we said this, and then, like, basically, we put, like, two paragraphs, and basically, typically, I wouldn't do it, but the guy was such a knucklehead. I mean, I would have, if it was somebody that said, oh, there, I got a flat tire. Well, guess what? I, we fixed the flat tires. I'm sure Brandy and Cody do also. I've dealt with other roofers who haven't, and it's like, dude, you're dealing with a complex. You're doing a $2 million job, and you can't fix some tires like oh my gosh yeah it, it, it was it was ridiculous it's like hey it's the cost of doing business sometimes you, stuff happens and it's a write-off it is what it is you know but yeah 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 just always trying to you know it's, do right uh, yeah. yeah it's just <laughs> funny when you own a business and other people are in the same business and run it horribly you're like how are you even still in business <laughs> you know? yeah well, that's like, that's what we see too. Cause our, a, a lot of like marketing people are like, but well, how do I know that it's working and this agency like did this to me and this agency did that. And you just hear so many horror stories that, you know, um, I know. So when someone in your industry is kind of doing wrong by people, it's frustrating because you, there's a mistrust for a reason. And you're like, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, work with people that give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. And, and when that feeling's gone, then it's time to maybe move on because especially in marketing, there's, I mean, we can show you metrics and show you what we're doing in the movement. But if, um, yeah, if you're, if you don't trust your agency, like you're always, you're always going to be like frustrated and spending too much time, like diving into things, you know, or dissecting something that maybe you don't maybe do maybe they've got a great answer but um yeah if, if there's no trust there you're just gonna be miserable <laughs> the whole time so and we as an agency like we don't want that like we love transparency we we when we do our annual reports we're like here's here's the big wins and here's what we don't love and this is our plan to fix it this is our strategy we you know so anytime i guess that's a little nugget anytime you get all good news all the time you know maybe maybe see if i uh, peek under the hood a little bit more <laughs> there's, there's probably something hiding right? yeah yeah you know? well even even when we have nothing but good news we're like what are we missing there's got to be something <laughs> something to improve exactly. right we always went like yeah. the feedback to make things better yeah exactly because it can be going great and then you get one big algorithm update and we're like oh my gosh all right pivot rethink you know so it's always changing. Uh, always yeah. Changing. Every yep. day, something new for sure. <laughs> yep. I I don't envy you. <laughs> <laughs> it I it mean, is fun. Yeah. I, I everybody has their likes and dislikes. I mean, I I deal with some marketing stuff myself and everything, but it's a lot. It's 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 a different cookie than what you guys are dealing with. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I know there's about a million different uh, types of marketing out there and, you know, like that, that quick lead gen stuff, like some companies just kill it. And we, that I don't, I don't even begin to want to know how to do that. <laughs> that's not the type of uh, agency we are, you know, so. Well, um, and, and we, we, that's why we're going to have this five weeks of marketing because it's different stuff. And like I said, in the post, yeah there's different things that work in different markets and, or it may be your company. You're just really good at it. You know, those quick leads, you got to be able to call those and get on them right away. You have a software that sends them a text and all, all these things like right away. Cause they're going to forget about it two minutes later after they fill out the form. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And they're like, Who's calling me? What is this? And then, and then depending on what the service is, like I know on, on Yelp, they have like a, 
get a quote now sort of thing. And oh my gosh. So I can't imagine the people that make that mistake and sign up for it thinking they want it. And then they just get hit up. Well, I guess there's a limit on how many people Yelp let's go mm -hmm. through. But if you don't respond within like 30 sec, not even 30 seconds, like the first 10 seconds, you get that email, those leads are gone too. So yeah, you're right. You have to have like the people and the processes in place for, for that type of um, lead gen marketing to be effective and, and worth the cost. Cause I know that stuff ain't cheap. Yeah. I, sure, think, you can uh, give I, I always right? said Yelp is for restaurants. <laughs> I agree. I Yelp is the ultimate devil. I think we all hate Yelp except for restaurants. I do want to know how the food is. <laughs> well, and but the thing is, is I look typically I look at you Yelp and Google because then you got some people like, on Yelp are just like they just want to be on Yelp, right? And they're yeah. they're oh yes this, and then you look at Google and it's like yeah I went here and it's not worth the money, right? Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You gotta you gotta find the, the balance. There are different yeah, like yeah. Yelpers versus like Google reviewers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. The one that has like hundreds of Google reviews. So I get free stuff from Google and the job nimbus guys get it from Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I did get some free socks from Google for their like local guides. That that was nice. <laughs> yeah. I almost got the goggles they were supposed to send them to me and then they stopped that program. And I'm like, <sighs> do you remember those with the glass? It no. basically was a phone in your glasses. It was pretty cool. It had a screen and stuff. Cool. I was like, I couldn't wait. And then went away. Dang it. Well, then the, the eye watches and all that came out. So it was like, nobody cared. Oh yeah. So, Perfect. So also speaking about ads, I have a small conservative ad budget. Where should I spend it? Yeah, that could, I mean, that definitely goes back to that Google local service ads. You can, you can go a long way with display as well. Um, but ultimately, I guess the biggest lesson that we've learned with all of our roofing clients across kind of all markets is that Google AdWords is just too expensive and not, not worth it. Um, you know, it's a great GLSA, Google local service ads, do that first. And then display um, is, is nice and cheap and it gets your name out there and you can set it up to, you know, follow those people around the web who searched like roof replacement, roof repair, things like that. Um, and it's just exponentially cheaper than, than AdWords. Okay. You know what about like having pixels set up with your Facebook and all that fun stuff? Or is that somebody else I need to talk to? That is the wonderful, talented Amanda Joyce, my partner. But um, I mean, if you if you are running like Facebook ads, yeah, you want to have you. I mean, you want to use the tracking pixel to kind of collect data on your users and then build lookalike audiences um, and things like that when you spend money on social media advertising. So um, <clears throat> we just kind of recommend if you are doing those social ads that you kind of have a goal in mind um, instead of just hearing that they work, um, just really, really consider, is this a brand play? Do you expect to get a lot of leads from this and kind of set those expectations for why you're doing, using social media platforms as um, your kind of chosen venue for um, paid advertising. Nice. Wonderful. So any closing remarks, Devin? Um, uh, let's see here. No, just email me if you have questions. <laughs> um, we are starting a new um, coaching and consulting side of our business. Um, previously, we just did kind of done for you marketing and um, would only take on like one roofing client per market. So we had to reject a lot of awesome people because we didn't want to, you know, take money from one pocket to the other to have both companies rank in the same market for the same term. But um, now we are offering kind of a coaching vein where we teach someone um, with at your business internally. Um, we teach them how to do things the way the way we do them here at the agency. And um, there's videos and slides and it's kind of a one on one. Um, sorry, the coaching is a group thing. But then we also have consulting, which is one on one where you're like, I just really need to know how to, I don't know, analyze Google Analytics. Then you can kind of s sign up for um, an hour of time with us that way. So. Um, I guess those would be my closing remarks is that if you've tried to work with us before and we, we had to say no, um, we kind of have these new veins of service and, um, and also, you know, 
hit me up with your questions. Always happy to share the knowledge and kind of just, just help everyone. All right. And you can reach her at dhaze at levemarketing.com. So I know elevation marketing, the domain is taken and nothing is there, but they won't sell it. <laughs> so it is. Yeah. The abbreviation for elevation, E L E V marketing.com. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk I later. Like I know a guy who can help you out with that. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Strong arm, man. Thank you so much. So if anybody needs help with their supplements or estimates, you can call or text me at 720-702-1938. Or you can email me at jason at fortadolaw.solutions. So, Devin, I know you got to take off and go get your kiddos. So um, we'll let you go. But thank you very much for your time. And we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You guys are awesome. Oh, oh, and Amanda, for just, Amanda just put a uh, put a comment that you're brilliant. Oh, do you see what I mean? She's the best business partner of all time. Look at that support. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, well, one of those business partners. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks.